Right, what's happening people? It's Dooley again, I'm back at Red Dead Redemption on the Xbox One. I've just finished that mission with Bonnie for getting the horse. Excuse Doing me. a bit of horse breaking, now I've gone to get Mr. West Dickens. Excuse me sir, you need help? This over dramatic Mister, clown. Mr. you alive? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, god damn it! Good heavens! Excuse me? I said, no I'm not okay, do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Sarcastic sod, isn't he? Time to get you to a doctor. Or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mister. Uh, and he's a bit over dramatic. But that is what I did like about Mr. West Dickens. He's always been over dramatic. Sir, I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Like a badly butchered hog. Mm, that's what you want to call it? You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. <sighs> I have forgotten how over dramatic this guy was. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? Should have put him inside it. Would have been safer. That's what I would have done personally, but okay. Your armadillo! Godspeed! Let's see if I can make it into town. Hoodlums, the scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die. I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well-cut suit and this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker has a funny sense of humor sometimes. Still, at least I met... Won't give up. Of course they won't, you probably conned them. I can't see strength. I knew you'd come, but I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. Is that Armadillo? Come on, hurry! Here we go, we've made it back. Yeah, I embrace you. And he is such an over dramatic person. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to And know. we're back in Armadillo, so yeah. Thank you, sir. We made it back nice Thank and you. safe. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr... Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. <laughs> at everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then, they would be... Mm -hmm. Would be... Would I be. know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. So uh, why don't you I'm take sure it you when do. you're on the floor? And I'm sure for just two dollars an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, 
I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. <laughs> give it up, old man. Where did they show him his boss, shall we? Listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Yeah, you do that. You okay. explain as we go. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm, John. In hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. Let's drive the wagon. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Good week in the week. Gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with the cod. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Get back on the road! We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood! If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you a fair Iago or Cassio make. I don't like the sound of it. Showmanship, John. The flourish. Oh, we are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting okay, to regret that. Off at the outskirts of Bridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be gone. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the pain. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. The perfect con. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. Where's my horse? Ah, there it is. Let's go! A safe and infallible remedy to all types of wounds! Interesting how the table was already there. Springs, gather round, gather round. Okay, so he's doing it from behind the horse. You suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, interesting glitch. Uh, neurologic or inflammatory. Never pain. seen this one before. Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backaches, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats. Contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and should be. nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. I love how I'm armed to the teeth and they're sort of pay nothing. Close attention. This poor wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. 
Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith I'd like to move out, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. There we go. By imbibing Dr. Westicken's own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's doable. You ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Steady yourself, stranger. I thought we was here to see you. Such an eye. There Behold we go. The power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey, hey, what? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away? Do you? Ah, oh, for God's hey, sake, here we go. Come on, are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. All right, let's kick his ass. I'm putting you down hard. Look at that! Inhuman strength! <laughs> You're going down! And that's him down. Skeptics and dissenters, irrefutable proof! Do not let this opportunity pass you by! Look, he's over there. Go get him! This ends now! Watch out! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! You ain't leaving here alive! Shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. That's his ass kicked officially. I have plenty for all. Yeah, no harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Good old He's Seth. most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Mm -hmm. uh. Right, well, I'm going to end this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Do the out, people. Hope you enjoyed.